Hello friends, welcome to TechStudyCell. In this video, we will make a IoT based home automation project using the Blink app. In this home automation project, you can control these four home appliances from your smartphone and also from the push button. Let me show you how it works. You can see I can easily control the lamp from the Blink app and also from this push button. And you can also monitor the real time status of the home appliance in the blink app. Now this blue LED on the node MCU indicate this node MCU is connected with the Wi-Fi. Now I will turn off the Wi-Fi and show you how it works without internet. You can see the blue LED automatically turns off after turning off the Wi-Fi. Now I can control this 4 AC lamp only from this push button. So let me show you. Now let me turn on the Wi-Fi again. As you can see the blue LED automatically turns on after turning on the Wi-Fi. So now I can control this lamp from this blink app and also from the push button. So does this project works and you can also connect this type of switch instead of this push button which I will show during the video. And for this project I have not used any custom design PCB and during the video I have shared the complete circuit diagram and the code for this project so you can easily make this IoT project for your home after watching the complete video. So let's get started. To make this project you just need a relay module, node MCU board and some push buttons. Now you have to connect all these components as per the circuit diagram. As you can see I have connected this node MCU with the relay module and this push button. Now I will configure the blink app for this project. So first you have to download the blink app from google play store or app store. Then I will tap on open then tap on new project here I will give the project name say smart home then you have to select the device node MCU connection type should be Wi-Fi then I will tap on create button now blink will send an authentication token to the registered mail ID which will be required in the code now I will tap on ok now I have to add four button so I will tap this plus icon to go to wizard box and after that I will add four button now I will tap on first button and here I will select the virtual pin 1 to control the relay 1 and as I am using an active low relay module so to turn off the relay I have to send 1 and to turn on the relay I have to send 0 and mode will be switch so thus we have created our first button for the relay 1. In similar way I will set up the rest 3 button with virtual pin 2, virtual pin 3, virtual pin 4 to control the relay 2, 3, 4. So I have created all the 4 button to control this 4 channel relay module. Now I will upload the code to node MCU for this project. This is the code for this project. You can download this code from our website. I have shared the link in the description. Now before uploading the code, first you have to copy this URL. Then go to file, preference. Here you have to paste this to URL. After that, you have to download and install the ESP8266 board. You can refer this link. Then for this project, you have to download and install the Blink library. You can refer this link and I have already shown how to install Blink library in my previous video. Then in the code first I have defined all the GPIO pins I have used for this project. After that here you have to enter the authentication token sent by the Blink. So I will go to the registered mail id, copy the authentication token and paste it here. After that you have to give the Wi-Fi credential. Here I will type my Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. Now if you refer the same circuit then after doing this much of changes you can upload the code to node MCU for that go to tools select the node MCU board proper port after that hit the upload button. Now let me quickly explain how the code works. So first we will go to void setup you can see in the void setup first 
we are defining the input output pin then we are trying to connect with the Wi-Fi and with this line we are calling this check blink status function after every three seconds so if I go to this check blink status function you can see first we are checking if the blink is connected so if it's not connected then we are turning off the Wi-Fi LED and making the Wi-Fi flag 1 if the blink connected then Wi-Fi flag will be 0 and Wi-Fi LED will turn on now if I go to void loop first we are checking if the Wi-Fi is connected so if the Wi-Fi is connected then we will execute blink.run function then if the Wi-Fi flag is 0 then we will call this with internet function else we will call without internet function now let me go to the with internet function now here you can see with this block of code we will control the relay module from the push button and each time we will press the push button it will update the blink server with the real time status and if i go to without internet function then with this block of code we will just control the relay module from the push button so does this code works if you go through the code you can easily understand still if you face any issue let me know in the comment section after uploading the code you can see the blue led turns on which indicate now the node mcu is connected with the wi-fi so i will tap on this play icon in the blink app and now i can control it from the blink app and i can also control it from this push button and also see the real time status of the relay in the blink app now i will disconnect the node mcu from the laptop and i will power this circuit from this mobile charger and i will also connect four ac lamp with the relay module as per this circuit diagram as you can see i have connected this four ac lamp with the relay module as per the circuit and this blue led indicate the node mcu is connected with the wi-fi so i can control this lamp from the blink app and also from this push button and you can also monitor the real time status of the relay in the blink app now instead of this push button you can also use this type of switch to control the relay module as you can see i can easily turn the lamp on and off from the switch and here i have connected a single switch but you can refer this circuit diagram to connect other switches with the node mcu but for this project i will not recommend you to use this type of switch say if i turn on any home appliance from this switch after that if i turn off it from the blink app you can see the lamp turns off but this switch is in on mode which is not correct so you can use either this type of switch or you can also use touch sensor instead of this switch thus you can easily make this home automation project for your home if you find this video helpful please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such project thank you for watching have a great day